Hi Tarek. Hi Philip. Nice to see you here in Tunisia in that event. Nice to uh, see you in Tunisia. To thank you. Uh, how many total centers in Tunisia right now? Uh, just uh, seven, eight. And uh, what do you think in Italy there are about hundred data centers? What do you think about Tunisia? Is it some future for expanding them? Yeah, I think that's future for Tunisia and all the Africa. To it is a potential market for data centers in Africa now. We have uh, around one or two hundred uh, data centers, but uh, I think uh, it is virgin market and uh, it, there is the potential to have to to build data centers here or. Uh, to uh, transfer data center from Europe or uh, from America to uh, to Africa because uh, uh, here we don't have the problem of uh, CO2 uh, deception of carbon print and uh, we have uh, we can have a green energy solution like solar panels uh, so uh, also for uh, the the users in uh, the users the final users in Africa Okay, no problem. Mm. So, uh, there are 10 times more data centers in Europe than in Africa. Yeah. What do you think about it? Because yesterday people called, like, to talk about, like, they need to move some not, like, some data centers to Africa just because the latency is not so important. But what do you mm. think about Africa, like, say, in 10 years, how many data centers? If 200 now, mm. how much will be in 10 years? Yeah. Uh, in 10 years, can, can be... Uh, multiplied by 10 or or uh, or more i think uh, because uh, there is saturation in europe and in america and uh, africa will be the the next destination if you have spaces we have a solution for green uh, energy like solar power uh, and uh, also for the users in uh, the continent in africa i think the number of users will be uh, more important in the few years few next years uh, because now we must change laws we must uh, give the right for uh, african people to have credit cards to have uh, uh, to go, uh, do uh, international payment and so they will have accounts uh, in the content providers like uh, akamai netflix etc so the, these providers will invest in the uh, African invest, uh, infrastructure will invest in the uh, exchange points and in data centers and this will uh, improve the latency and if we we will have a good latency, a good connection to uh, the world, I think uh, Africa will be the best place to make investment in data centers and uh, for us like uh, 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 solution provider, African solution provider, I think now we must uh, work in, uh, or uh, uh, have projects with uh, European and American data center to get the expertise, to get the knowledge there. And then when, when the African market become the place, uh, we, we uh, can put our uh, knowledge here in the African data center there will be uh, the solution, African solutions, infrastructure, uh, monitoring uh, also. Uh, just if we just compare this, yeah. Africa is bigger than Europe, like in the, in the territory, in the quantity of people, I mean, by internet users, it really, it will be soon, so we're like, bigger one. And uh, the, the density of the data center is like 10 times smaller than in Europe. And of course, the data centers are not so developed and et cetera, et cetera. The, so it means like potential for Africa is like really you just use several percent of that. And uh, and of course the quantity of them will grow and there are no, like it's, it's, it, it will happen and everybody knows it. But the question is like your solution can save uh, data center from the fire, yeah? And there's understood like OVH get fire, like get fire, yeah? So like, and they lose a lot of data. Yeah. So let's say your solutions like yours, can uh, like prevent it, yes, and uh, save lots of people data. Exactly. Uh, our solution is uh, an environmental monitoring system. So uh, we monitor the power source, alimentation power source in data center to prevent any faults, to prevent uh, RCM uh, default faults like uh, isolation faults, like uh, uh, fire broke uh, events. 
So uh, we monitor the quality of uh, power alimentation uh, in uh, many level in, in three level in data center, in the main uh, alimentation level, in distribution level, and in the sub distribution level. So uh, we can calculate the power usage effectiveness. So this for to improve uh, the costs and improve the consumption of power, and also for to uh, monitor the quality and uh, do the prevent uh, maintenance and prevent uh, uh, faults before happening. So this is the first part, and the second part is to manage the conception of each customer, of each rack, of each server in the, uh, the data center, to have a look to the uh, environmental uh, metrics like uh, temperature, humidity, to keep the availability uh, and the maintainability of the infrastructure. Will you come to the next ADCD event? Yeah, yeah, uh, I think uh, the ADCD uh, it's a big opportunity uh, for us, like uh, uh, African solution provider, to make synergy, uh, to make uh, connection, and have complete solution for future data center in Africa. Now uh, we can export our experts or our solution to uh, Europe, and uh, in the future uh, we uh, will uh, be uh, ready to uh, uh, set up our solution, our knowledge in uh, African uh, data centers. So uh, ADCD, it's uh, uh, the future in the, uh, in the Africa, and uh, I thought uh, it will be uh, the next uh, events will be more and more more uh, interesting for us and for all uh, the collaborators in the, this domain in Africa. Let's make African future better. Thank you, Tarek. Thank you, Philip. Thank you so much.